Hey everybody, Brandon Beliso here. Today I want to ask you, in the words of Cat Williams, are you in tune with your star player? And what I mean by that is are you very clear about who you are based upon your value system at a heart level? Who are you? What do you stand for? As I say, you know, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And that's the biggest challenge I see in our industry is people aren't very clear about their values. You know, they know they love the martial arts, so they open up a martial arts school because they love the martial arts, but they haven't quite defined their why. I say it all the time, why do I want to come to you versus Joe Karate down the street? So getting in tune with your star player. Who are you? What is your unique service point? What do you represent? If I'm a mom and I walk through your door and you say, because we teach focus, discipline, we're a black belt, martial arts school, family center. It's the same thing everybody else has said for year after year after year. Dan Kennedy who said this really great. Find out what your industry is doing and do the complete opposite. And when I came into the industry as, as a professional to decide to do this, that this is what I want to do for my career, first thing I saw is everybody did contracts, so I didn't do them. Everybody did belt fees, so I didn't do them. And you know, everybody did upgrades, black belt clubs, so I didn't do them. I felt if I had really, really good martial arts and I was great at serving people well, I'm standing toe to toe with a guy that's got great martial arts, serves people well, but has contracts, I'm gonna win that every time. Does that make sense? So you want to find your own voice because if you're very clear about your values, you're very clear about your vision, then what other programs you decide to adopt out there, be it my one merit badges or be it hyper or be it skills, whatever's out there, it will resonate with those core values and it will be in line with the culture of your school. Talking to a guy the other day, I said, what is your black belt in Taekwondo? How long have you been doing Taekwondo? 30 years. Then why don't you make that the core root product of your school? You have all these different programs and it's kind of like being at that buffet in Vegas. Chinese, Mexican, Japanese, American. It's got all these varieties of food, but are any of them really, really good? Not at all. I would be more trusted in you and you would market it better if you promoted your 30 years of Taekwondo experience. You feel me on that? Instead, you're going to go to some convention and get a program that you've learned in, in eight hours certification or online, and that's going to be more believable when you market and sell it and promote it? I think not. I think not. So this is Brandon Beliso, and I'm asking you, get in tune with your star player. Know who you are. Take no prisoners. Make no apologies. You know, know who you are. And from there those clear set of values, establish that vision of where you want to be in three to five years, develop that action plan, then go after the people and programs that resonate and are going to be the vehicle to help move you from there, here to there. This is Brandon Bliso. Until we talk again, you go out there and make a difference.